guys, welcome back to BMW Blog YouTube channel and welcome to Munich, Germany. The reason why I'm here today is to show you the most intelligent car ever made by BMW. And to learn more about that, I have here with me Domagoj Duketz. He's the head of design at BMW. So let's start right off. Tell me first, what's the name of the car? And then maybe we talk about the project a little bit. Shall we ask her? Yeah, so <laughs> should I do it? Yeah, or? sure. So what's your name? My name is D. And what does D stand for? D stands for Digital Emotional Experience. That's quite cool. All right, so let's start off with that. Tell me more about the car because it's not just about the design, but really about the technology around it. Of course, we'll talk about the design a little bit too. Yeah, I mean, you know, we showed uh, last year the Vision Eye Circular mm -hmm. because it's actually on the road to Neue Klasse. Mm -hmm. What we mentioned that 25, we're going to reinvent BMW. And the Neue Klasse will stand for circularity, for digitalization and electrification. And so each vision should somehow envision what does BMW understand under circularity or under digitalization. And now, because digitalization should feel like a almost human, a perfect companion, mm -hmm. therefore we thought also with the name, it's D, more like a real proper name. But of course, because we could call it also Vision Eye Digital, but it's D, digital, and therefore we gave her the name D. So right. she feels also a little bit more S human. Yeah? Special. Yeah, special. So what are you trying to achieve with this project? What kind of you know, topics or technology you're trying to portray with this particular car? I mean, digitalization today, and especially for the generation Y, Z, mm -hmm. Alpha, is really becoming mm -hmm. the real world. Mm -hmm. It's not an anymore just a game. It's like you see even that the whole industry has opportunities, fashion shows, product, art, and because virtual world is no longer something just where you want to play, it's, it, has, it offers a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. I mean, just through the pandemic, you could see that a virtual world can help you just to be anywhere in the world, even if there is a lockdown. And so it opens new possibilities. And what would be then the BMW way in this whole world? And what we wanted to show here is, there will be always a need of a virtual approach or to this virtual world, but we didn't want that you need a, like an extra consumer electronic device. The car is your perfect companion. If you're in the physical world, so you go from A to B, you do anything, but if you're charging or you have to do, I don't know, social media, phone calls, you have a, we, we created like a mixed reality slider, you can really slide in between this physical and this fully virtual world okay. and it becomes then more digital because you're still in a car and this is what was the idea so we wanted to make it feel really human how you behave in between these two worlds so of course when it comes to design first thing that people usually notice is the exterior design so i'm assuming you put a lot of thought into making sure that you portray that digital aspect with an exterior design so what can you tell me about the exterior design i know it's a vision car and maybe we should mention that but maybe walk me through some of the design elements on this one because they're quite unique and new on a bmw um i mean what we want to achieve with the Neue class is of course a very reduced simple shape because mm -hmm. Circularity means also creating less waste mm -hmm. in terms of recycling process. You don't want to have too many elements, but mm -hmm. we don't want to make the character of the BMW less visible. And that's what we try also with the design. For example, in the front now, I think every kid or child would recognize it's a BMW. Mm -hmm. It looks somehow very different, but mm -hmm. what you recognize is this double kidney. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to have like just a kidney like a nose nostrils and then you have headlights you have eyes it's just you don't need air intakes the only thing you see is the kidney the headlights are implemented into it and just because it's digital and now you can see now it's black with the headlights but for example if you interact with d yeah she can twinkle yeah she can look at you and she can at least give for example pedestrians and clue did you see me interaction as it's a quite human and interactive, we think it should have some character. And we use here e-ink technology, okay. and therefore you could use a display. Mm -hmm. But as it's electric and efficient, e-ink is a perfect technology, which is almost, you know, it doesn't consume any electricity. And even during day, it's very visible. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it gives also this nice look of, yeah, you don't really understand what's happening. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, uh, this you can see also all around. So in the front, the kidney will be an important issue, but then also in the side, 
the Hofmeister King. You see, there's no chrome anymore. The chrome element was always signing the uh, signature of, a, of the Hofmeister, but here in the future, if you don't want these elements just being empty jewelry pieces, we create here with also e-ink a nice uh, band where you can also interact with. Yeah? Where do I stand? Is the camera seeing me or do I see if the car is charging? Yeah? So these are elements, but you can see the car is fully clean, but not uh, less exciting. Yeah? Wheels, big wheels, standing well on the car, three box sedan, nice proportion, pure. I mean, actually, like any BMW, which was really successful, E30 was. Yeah? So My father was an E30. <laughs> you see. <laughs> and who, who was your mother? My mother was an M3. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> D, how come you don't have any side mirrors? I don't need side mirrors because I have cameras. But do you need a steering wheel? I do need a steering wheel. I have a most excellent steering wheel. Would you like to see it? Sure. Can you open the door? Let's open the door. She's so uh, fresh <laughs> to this world, you know. She's exciting. still learning. No, she's, <laughs> she's, no, she's, excited, she's all excited. Yeah. So you see the right, So tell me inside. So basically, simplify shapes, right? I mean, it's all about the digital experience, really. But maybe walk me through a little bit before we hop inside yeah, and take exactly. a look at that. I mean, um, as I mentioned in the exterior, we don't want to make functionality really visible. You could put switches, but like here, the, the interaction for the seat adjustment is just behind the uh, textile. Yeah? Okay. So, so if you don't need it, it's not visible at all. Yeah? So you can interact here with the seat yeah? and the seat would go back and forth and you can close the door. But we want to take away anything what's not necessary. So the car looks actually low tech, mm -hmm. but it's more high tech than anything. What's we don't want an uh, airplane cockpit. Mm -hmm. We want to make a digital experience not frightening or scary for people so that you're in a in a car in a cockpit like you mm -hmm. know in a vector where you have like all instrument panels mm -hmm. because you don't need it so technology is only visible if you need it that's already what we talked for the uh, iNext Joker and here for the whole Neue Klasse we want to reduce it to be just a simple car where you can concentrate on driving and the steering wheel is a very important element so why needing an iDrive controller if you can control over the steering wheel? So driver orientation is so important for BMW. Mm -hmm. We say eyes on the road, hands on the wheel. And therefore we created the steering wheel. The steering wheel has no horizontal spokes because we don't have an instrument cluster. Okay. So we can fix the center of a vertical spoke and therefore you can, that's the first steering wheel you can grab all around mm -hmm. because there's no spoke. Then you can position the elements to interact with the car perfectly ergonomically. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you have always the way that it's a little bit too low because you have always the spoke. We don't need this and mm -hmm. this will be a very important part of the Neue Klasse how we interact with the car. Yeah, because everything what you see there's no uh, um, no display. No display, yeah. No display. You will interact of course with touch but then everything is on the, on the windshield. windshield. Okay, windshield. so we'll take a look at that in a second. Yeah. Before we hop in, maybe we take a look at the back of the yes, car. Sure. So we can talk about that a little bit. D, can you close the door? I think we can close the door. Okay, thank you. Yeah, in the back. Awesome. Similar like in the front. I mean, at first you can see also the logo, what we showed already on the Vision Circular. Um, is like also minimum use of resources. It's aluminium, the whole car is aluminium, so you can really mill the logo. So it's great. very precise mm -hmm. and there's no waste because <laughs> there is a logo visible, mm -hmm. but it's in the material. And like in the front, you have like this e-ink display, you have this always. This so that's e-ink as well, right? Yeah, you would have always this double, what we will see also in the future BMWs is very important as a kitten in the front, as the twin headlights. We're gonna mm -hmm. use now also always, but I mentioned this already, a twin rear light, so that mm -hmm. it's always a BMW. We had always like this L shape, yeah. but uh, we believe that, you know, there are so many uh, companies who are using similar shapes. We believe that the strongest icon of a BMW was always this twin headlight, mm -hmm. and now we put it just on the back. I can tell already that it's very aerodynamic from the back, and I can see the sloping roof line. It's a lot more pronounced. But than still, a three-box sedan. 
Yeah, still look like three bucks sedan, yeah. But I guess that's for aerodynamic purposes, for electric cars, basically, you're always trying to optimize the rear end, right? Yeah, tr true. It has to be narrower, but then it helps. You see uh, how the wheels are sticking out. Mm -hmm. Almost, we have like uh, wheel arches like on a G80, uh, on a yeah. M3 almost. And this is what we also want to give to the Neue Klasse. It looks simple. But somehow you look at it and you think, okay, where's the sportiness gone? So there are no exhaust pipes, there's no like... Diffuser. Yeah, and there are no black uh, trim mm -hmm. areas because it doesn't need it. The car itself has a perfect stance. And so it feels sporty, but without trying too hard. And this is somehow what we did in the past. Yeah, E30 didn't have a lot. Uh, it had just nice wheels and yeah. that's it. And mm -hmm. uh, somehow we believe that uh, we can go back there and Vision D is of course a vision car and it shows also how we deal with digitalization but some er elements we will of course transport to the Neue Klasse. Perfect. So does not mean bland. <laughs> you see? <laughs> so and and D, D, you, you, you think you are quite pretty, no? I really like the way I look. <laughs> <laughs> you see here the e-ink. So what so you like just also lights up. that if you don't need it's completely it, it looks like there's nothing yeah? and this interaction yeah. to change also the fascia is also very interesting because if you think about luxury today it's also changing people don't always want to have this over branding and so in the front if the car stands you mm -hmm. can show the kidney but you can also blind it out yeah? okay d do you have any brothers i have one brother he is the vision circular ah any future brothers <laughs> I'll have to ask my parents, <laughs> and I'll have to ask BMW. She's a spokesperson. <laughs> so maybe we should open the door and take a look inside, because I think a lot of the cool tech is right there. So, so we want that all information are on the windshield. Yeah? And you can see, I mean, head-up display, we are the head-up display company. Mm -hmm. But so now, while driving, let's say, in the, in the physical world, yeah, I have my information, there I have uh, speed, everything. But here I have this mixed reality slider. Mm -hmm. So I go from there now to, now I'm one step further. I get more information, yeah, if I need like more, like, uh, I don't know, I'm going more into internet and so. And then you slide it, you know, go you back, slide it and, and slide forth. it and back and forth. And then I have this, when I'm not driving, yeah, we can switch into the, really the last mode, okay. yeah, which is then really the whole screen. Yeah, and uh, that's then the last one. So, and then after the fourth one, you see now the screen is getting black. Mm -hmm. yeah, before it was yeah. uh, transparent, transparent, so yeah. now it's black. And now if we uh, go to the last one, yeah, but look oh, at this. Some, yeah, 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 that's cool. That's I, mean, really cool. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you would sit in the, you, you yeah. see really, yeah. I mean, this is just a projection. So it's our header because the screen is underneath. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And this works just if the screen is black. So, but here now you can't drive. You, this car is drive by wire. Okay. So you can also use the steering wheel for driving in the virtual world. Okay. Because now it's deconnecting with the wheels, deconnected. Okay. But if you go back in the normal mode, you drive, of course, drive by wire with the wheel. So now you could drive in a complete virtual metaverse, mm -hmm. also on a racetrack, mm -hmm. but somehow, I don't know, like sure. uh, roller coaster yeah. style. And uh, for this, we have the screen black. And then, of course, if we go back, oh. now you see that the screen now yeah. turned transparent again. Okay. Yeah, it's similar to the photogrammatic screen. Yeah. And now you are again in this mode there where you can go from in different modes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. first mode basically you can see everything, you can drive like a normal car and then you add more mixed reality into the mix basically at every step. Is there like a mode where basically you drive in the virtual world and you have cars passing by and you can see them? So that'll be like one of the modes where you like you're virtual and when then there's a, a full virtual in the full world, virtual. You are all around virtual. So if I would so everything will be all virtual. The whole inside. windows gotcha. are virtual. Okay. So even the, the the screens are virtual. You sit inside mm -hmm. and you are like 360 degree mm -hmm. immersive experience. So you are not just looking like on a uh, yeah, in a in a in a, on the television. Mm -hmm. You really sit inside. So everything what's passing by, you are in the metaverse driving. Okay. But you are really driving your car. Mm -hmm. So your car becomes in the real world and in the virtual world the same companion. So that's so cool. Are there some cool features inside that D can show us? Hey no, D, no. can you show us some new features inside the car? <laughs> the feature that I like that I think you were talking about is step four, where it's 
many virtual pieces, plus also being able to see the real world at the same time. Dee, can you take me to Las Vegas? With augmented reality, you can see both the virtual world and the real world at the same time. And when we're in the fifth step, That's so I can take you to Las Vegas. Yeah. Is it? But this of course, really cool. it's Las Vegas, a virtual Las Vegas. I mean, like, because Las Vegas we know, but this is Las Vegas in a virtual world. And here you can see on the rear screen, mm -hmm. you see? So if I would close all those, you would see it all It'd be like all yeah. the sides and everything exactly. else, be like, be like yeah. on the street So this in is Las the Vegas. side of this one, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so before we end this video, let's show them one more cool thing. And maybe the spinners? Yeah, the spinners. What was the idea there, really? The idea was as the car is somehow sliding in between these two worlds mm -hmm. if you are just in your metaverse mm -hmm. and you are driving inside on the outside st um, uh, windows you would also see it mm -hmm. so everybody outside would see it yeah. and with the spinners you're driving they would spin but even if it stands the car somehow stays stable but at the same time turning it's not digital mm -hmm. but somehow it's a nice effect we play there with it's just a gimmick to to give the car a feeling of turning while it's standing, yeah? Gotcha. But, you know, we, we play with this often, and you see what's standing here? Future is bright. Future is bright. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end with this. I'm going to ask Dee where we're going to see her next. Dee, where are we going to see you next? I'll see you next at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. All right, Dee, well, thanks for giving us an overview of your capabilities. Domagoy, thank you for your time once again. And I guess we'll see you at CES, maybe talk about this a little bit more. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one. Yeah. Thank you, Dee. Bye. Bye.